<laughs> you got anything to do? Yeah, you got almost a little bit of dirt on the edge of the tire. Day five of prepping every truck we can for Gear Jammer. This is truck number 799. What do you think, touchless wash? I'm going touchless wash. All right, sweet. Touchless wash, stars and stripes, snake oil. Yeah. Call it good. All right, I like it. This will go quick. These are what you're gonna wanna use. The dreaded brush. Yeah, the scratcher. The scratcher. The scratcher. These are what I think are the best tool. And I, yeah, I so I saw job. your last video where you're, I think you washed your Jeep yeah. with these. Those are nice. And those are nice, because if you hit the truck or you hit the paint, you hit the... Yeah, and it's, it's even got uh, protection for me on there to keep the pole from bumping into things. Oh, exactly. You can press this button in, and then it'll go all floppy. Well, it, and it'll, it'll even... And you can also lock this piece. So, so it will lock it, like, totally. Yeah, so that way there you get, like, that right there. Yep, that's a good angle, that's right? A, well, yeah, that's... And it's just long enough to almost reach the top of the trailer. For us, not six foot tall guys. <laughs> okay. You got underneath here, Chris. Oh. Oxidized aluminum. Well, I've got some M shine. We could get it done. I mean, so this is where those those green brushes come in, right? Like mm -hmm. you can totally use that under here. Buckets full M shine. You just dunk the brush in there and then hit the frame and it'll look a lot better. Do you have a bucket of liquid X that we can mix up? I can do a, uh, yeah, so, so why don't we do this? Up? We'll make a liquid X bucket out of the red bucket and we'll make an M shine bucket out of the blue bucket. Let me get some refills on the liquid X going here. I'll dump a bunch into uh, that bucket too while I'm doing that. Okay. Here comes the liquid X. Put a glug of that in there. A glug? A glug. Just a glug? Well, like what's, a, what's a glug to you, Bob? A glug is like, mm -hmm. yeah. We have achieved like, 50 to one. That's like three glugs. That was a good glug. That, that's that, that, was a, that, was a, that was a good glug. <laughs> oh, you're ahead of it. You know what's going on. I think what you want to do here is just foam it with that gun and yep. that'll lube it up so it doesn't scratch. Use that on the use that on the mud flaps and the tires first. Mid them down. I've got a nice brush. So that brush for the mud flaps and the tires would be really nice. That's the new one that just came out this week. Clean, that's for sure. Yeah, man, all that foam is just turning black. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you got some junk on that thing, man. Yeah. Get this. Get it. Yes. Go, <laughs> We need M shine in that. We're gonna put a triple glug in this one, bro. Triple glug. M shine, bro. That's like the quadruple glug. This is the magic right here. This is what's gonna get us clean underneath. Send it back over when you're done. You got a pretty good pass through for that. That's nice. There it goes. What do you think? Is it getting it done? I think it's cleaning it up and yeah. making it a little bit shinier. I mean, it doesn't hit as hard as a brightener, but at least yeah, you don't have to worry about your polished aluminum. I would like to uh, sand down my frame. Oh, heck my yeah. My subframe and polish it at some, at some point. That would be really cool. So is your truck your truck at SRS? Uh, SRS owns it, I drive it. I'm the only one that drives it. This truck will be two years old on Sunday. I picked it up two years ago on my birthday. I was gonna say, isn't that your birthday too? Yep. <laughs> I picked it up in Oklahoma. Two years ago, on my birthday. Damn, wow, that's a really good day. You must have been living on cloud nine right there. Yeah. So what do you think? You guys want to scrape it around up here, or is that overkill? It's a lot of work. That's just me. It's over, yeah. I'm tired. I'm tired. This is truck 800. This is 800 trucks been, this I've week. I've been also up since 9 o'clock last night. Really? Yeah, just so I can be here to watch I thought this. I was tired. I think you might have me beat. I slept three and a half. Just so I could be here today to wash my truck. Wow. Now it's brown, hey. Don't let your baby fall in this bucket, bro. That's definitely looking better. I can see it's a lot, a lot brighter looking now.
I think you should be able to tackle that now. Yeah, it runs down the whole side. I, I, I'll know when I rinse. Yeah, you can see it yeah. in there, huh? What yeah. is that? Oh, it's coming off with my finger. It comes off with your finger, not the brush. <laughs> Let me see if a scrub ninja will get it. That's something. Don't worry about it. I'm getting ready to get it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Yeah, it's in there pretty good. It's, not, it's actually not coming off with my finger. I'm not sure what changed, but. <laughs> Did we get it? Yeah, and then for the mo I mean, for the most part, though, it's a little better. Yeah, it's from the tarp. It's yeah. From the tarp and the rain and, and all that. Yeah. if you're ready. I do it, I'm gonna mess it up. This is what I'm here for, man. We can get a shot of you uh, cleaning your roof if you like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Woo! That was a low blow. <laughs> Feel it. This is so far the best way that I've figured out to get into these spots. It's pretty good, right? Mm hmm. What do you do with the alternator, Jeff? What do I do with the alternator? Yeah, do you do anything with it? So you don't get it wet. <laughs> <laughs> I never know what to do with the alternator, man. I mean, it's clean already, so let's leave it alone. It is raining out there, man. Look at that. And it was at this point that my microphone died. I'm gonna treat you guys to some of the best copyright-free music you ever heard in your life. The sound will be back, though. Just give it a minute.
stings the eyes. I don't even know if it'll get it out of there, but in general it'll it looks help. Looks like it's doing something. It'll try it, right? It, it's not strong enough to do like what an aluminum brightener would do, but aluminum brightener is just so risky. You get like Maybe a, we shouldn't have added water to it. How many gloves of water? Probably a gallon of water. So we're going like 50-50 here, so it just needs some time. Right. This is probably not a bad approach though. It's doing something. I mean, you know, it got it something, something done, but not, you know, it didn't get it all the way, but... It's not strong enough to like take stuff, deep stuff out of aluminum like like some places need, yeah. you know. Do you have a less abrasive brush? Yeah. Use these mid on a sticks here. Oh, well, it's going all wonky. Yeah, aim it straight, press the button. Yeah, there you go. A little better. Teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> Start working up and down along these ribs. These guys, rights, detailing, and polishing, man. We're gonna try these out. I bet they're gonna work real good. There's something that could benefit from it right there, too. Awesome sauce, but detail. Oh, maybe, yeah. Probably doesn't need much. Good. Oh, Looks good, right? Smells good. It's got that mineral spirit vibe going on. Oh, is this supposed to go on top of this? I don't know. Do they say anything about it on the label? Reading is not my forte. What do they say? I don't know. It's got a first aid kit though on it. Oh, let's go straight over the top. We'll find out the hard way. I doubt anything too bad could happen. Yeah, I don't want to ride to the freaking emergency room today. You got this under control. Ah. Oh, I just really don't want to cooperate. Well, Look you're at right. It. Don't want none of this leaking out and shipping. Don't even need to finish. You don't even really need to, yeah. You almost got to be careful. It might look a little better right here than everywhere else. Although I don't think that's possible. This is looking pretty tuned up. Problem solved. I don't even know where that stain was. One out of ten, nine. Well, that's a good score. Heck, that's good polish, man. For more. Just a quick little tune up in the engine compartment here. Not much to do, but enough. Yeah, ice, please. Low air? What air? Low air? Low air? No, it's making air right now. Oh, it's making air. Yeah. There, it seep right off, huh? Oh, it just melts the grease, bro. It's nice doing this on an orange frame. You can actually see what's happening. You wanna have some fun with this thing? Come on, yeah. you know you wanna try it. Oh, fuck it's yeah. so much fun. Let it rip. Let it rip. Yeah. Cool with paint? No, that's the best brush we could possibly choose for paint in my mind. And again, I'm not really trustworthy. I don't know what I'm doing. Look at that, huh? Oh yeah, it's moving. We're getting it, bro. We're getting it. Look at 
at all the stuff on the floor, bro. It's black. Crazy, right? I love this thing. Say what? Did you do jet strike this? Or no? What are you talking about? Did you do jet strike like this? Oh, yeah. So yeah. Exactly. Except yours is much more visual. We can see what's happening with the orange frame. It's a lot easier to see. It's pretty cool, actually. It's like brand new. Yeah, it's not bad. Hey, you're hired. <laughs> well, they, they just repainted the whole frame. Oh, nice. So that's why it's so easy then. Yeah. Because normally you'd have a lot more junk build up in there. Everything was sandblasted, degreased, yeah. heavy duty. Oh. I don't know how you want to tackle it. I mean, we did a touchless wash for Jeff. With you, I picture maybe Liquid X hands on with the heavy duty on the tires and snake oil the whole thing. Then get the face of it. Yeah. It might be a little big for the little stuff. Let me get you a smaller one. Yep. Yep. Right in. Yes. And then you might want a little less angle. Yeah, that's extreme. There you go. Let it rip. on this one it didn't look like that before we're gonna have to polish that one i mean we did the same thing on this one no issues so what's going on here did we do this doesn't look right what i'm wondering though is why that would be on there it's not like these were hot either you know what i mean because they, no. they, they had plenty of time to cool down i don't know the heavy duty went on there and it completely fried it which i've never seen before and that wasn't even on there for very long he was starting on it while we we're still up there yeah so we're gonna have to polish that out. This one and that one were identical. This uh, this didn't have that reaction for some reason. I don't know. That's gonna be a lot of work, though. No, shouldn't. I mean, it'll no. just it sucks to have to get in there by hand. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't have to. You can do. What do you think? With the or well, with the orbital. Yeah. With the orbital, you can do from here all the way to here. Yep. And then you'll have to do. Yeah, you just gotta get into the interior. You'll have to get. Those. Yeah, you'll have to get into here by all right, hand. Chris, that's all. We're gonna need to start popping off the lug nut covers so we can get in there tight with some hand polishing. I want to hit that with some M shine on a mitt. Yeah, might might as well. At this at this point at this yeah. point I would M shine that with a mitt. Do a half plug M shine in there, bro. That's enough. Yeah. There you go. That'll get it done and then at least give us a head start to clean. It feels like there's a residue on the top of the wheel and I'm hoping that that's all we're looking at. I've washed my aluminum flatbed while it was hot with heavy duty and it didn't do this. Yeah, I've never had that issue. Let's see what we get. How's that looking in there? I've never seen that happen before. Like aluminum brightener, I would expect to not do that much damage in that amount of time. No. Got it. Microfiber.
Where'd you get this? Auto fiber. Yeah, I'm about to get some myself. Yeah, I need to get one. Tell me you have more. Dude, I uh, I have like one more right here. One, that's it? Yeah. What do we got over here? What is this right here? That little scuff, you see it? Yeah. Hmm. We got something we can fix that with. Ah, some salve. Oh. Look at that. I wonder if that was like a bug. Probably. Hey, that looks a lot better. Problem solved. Give the camera a smile and... <laughs> Look at that. Dude, what do you think? Wow. Came out pretty good, right? It's wicked. This truck's corny. Thank you for all the help today. Thank Appreciate you. it. It was fun.